Hey besties, welcome or welcome back. Today we are going to head over to Dollar Tree and get some wall decals. I cannot wait to show you all the beautiful things I created with them. So let's get started. I've got these gorgeous flower decals. This little plank from Dollar Tree actually has a little twine attached to it. And I don't even have to take it off this time because we're only going to paint on the front and the sides. I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint and I'm just going to paint over each of the planks and around the edges and in those little inside pieces you see. I don't even need to do the back on this one. Then I'm going to go around each of those edges because it was a little splintery and I'm going to use a nail file from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to get in there and fix that. Then I'll take my little sanding sponge from the Dollar Tree and I'll lightly sand the front so I can lay down the decal without any little paint bumps. I'm only going to use one of those flowers. So I'm going to lay down some Mod Podge over the front. And then I'm going to take the decal and I'm just going to place it right on top. And don't worry about those slats, we will deal with that in just a minute. I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to go in between those slats and very slowly and very carefully I'm going to start cutting right at the edge. Sometimes you have to stab the little point just to get it started because if it, you push too hard, it might rip. So I just go super slow. See how it's lifting up? And then I push it back down and I just go really carefully. So I'm going to do them all on one edge first and then turn it around and do the second side where you can remove it. So I'm showing you here when I'm doing both sides and how easy that just comes right out. I'm going to do that with all of the slats. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with my nail file again, and I'm just going to lightly sand so I can get off any excess paper from that decal that was there. And I'll do that in every single one of the slats. This is turning out gorgeous. I love that look with the slats. I'm going to cover the whole thing in Mod Podge just to seal it and also go over those edges in case there's any like little fibers from the, the decal that are sticking up. This may be my favorite, but I think this just turned out beautiful. I'm going to take some greenery that I have gotten from Amazon a while back, and it should be in my Amazon store. And I'm just going to cut little pieces and position them where the greenery on the decal is, kind of bring it to life and give it more of a 3D feel. I think by doing this, it really adds a lot to kind of otherwise flat crafts. I just think it just gives it just that extra oomph and it's a little more high end. Let me know what you think or if you've ever done it. It's really a nice, easy thing to do and I just think it's like I said it just brings it to life and I think this one is just beautiful it matches with so many things in my home too you have to let me know what you think about it My friends, I want to invite you to come with me to a crafty cruise getaway with four other channels here from YouTube where you can enjoy beaches and sand and tons and tons of crafting inspiration. This ship has so many amenities that you are going to just have a blast. Plus, you get to connect with other crafters. But here's the thing. Space is very limited. So make sure you go to craftycruisegetaway.com to get all the information that you need. Everything is linked down below in the description box. This one might be my favorite today, either that or it's tied for favorite. I've got this faith does not make things easy, it makes things possible scripture. And I've got that beautiful flower wall decal. And then I've got this sign from the Dollar Tree. Now on the front, I'm just gonna pull off that rabbit. I'll use it next year for Easter. I'm gonna use that Amy Howard at home one step paint. And it's like an off white, I think it's called Bajas. And I'm just gonna do a coat on the back side of this and it's not too heavy. I'm gonna lightly sand so it's a smooth surface. Then I'm going to take some craft paper, and I don't even care if it's wrinkled from inside a package, I will reuse it, and I'll hot glue around the edges and just create a backing for my sign. And then all I do is trim around the whole thing, and there you go. Now it's nice and clean. I'm going to take that beautiful flower, and I'm just going to put it kind of towards the bottom at an angle, and I'm just going to press that on. And this one is sticky enough to go on without Mod Podge underneath it. Then I'm going to take my little blade and I'm going to go around the edges on my cutting mat and get rid of anything that was hanging over. 
I've got these other decals and I'm going to cut them out section by section because I want to place them the way I want to. It wouldn't have fit on the sign. It's way too long. So I'm going to start with the word faith and that's going to go up on the upper left hand corner. Just going to press that on. Again, don't need Mod Podge for this. Then for it does not make, I'll just put that piece right up next to faith and then things easy just below it. And then it makes them just below that, but to the left, and then possible to the right below that. And I will add the reference Luke 137 in the bottom right. Kind of funny, I was talking to my really good friend, Leon Epp from DIY Beauty on Purpose, and we both found out we were both doing decal videos that were supposed to come out the same day and didn't even know it. we hadn't even talked about it. So we're gonna make this kind of a shout out collab since we're doing it at the same time. And I'm also doing something that she loves to do. She makes a knot out of something thicker than let's say the hole on the sign was, and you kind of trim it down and you hot glue it on the front over the hole. I love when she does this and I thought, I'm gonna try this. And I'm using this mop head piece of like rope, if you will. I'm going to put those over that little, the little holes. And so I couldn't have got that through those holes. This was too thick. So this is the perfect solution. And then I'll go ahead and just hot glue it on the back where the holes would be so that it looks like I put that through those holes. And then I hot glued it down. I always add a little more hot glue and some masking tape just to secure it. And there you go. So thank you, Leonette. And you guys, I'll have her channel link and video link down in the description box. You will love her. I'm sure you already know her. Anyway, didn't this one come out cute? I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. love these butterfly decals from the Dollar Tree. They're gorgeous. I've got these little pieces of wood that I had ordered on Amazon and I'm just going to make three. I'm going to use the Amy Howard at Home paint and I think the color is called Bajas and I'm just going to paint a coat of the white on the top of each one and around the edges. Don't need to do the back and we're just going to make three coasters and I just think that's enough. I have so many coasters in my house. I really don't need a whole bunch of them but I thought this would be such a cute thing for like spring and summer. I love the butterflies. Once I've got them all painted, I'm going to just randomly pick each of the kinds of butterflies I have here and let them hang off the edge, be angled, whatever I think looks nice. If you're kind of a symmetrical person, you could put them on differently than I did. I like them kind of just wherever. I wanted to almost look like they're in flight, and that's why you don't see all of them. They're kind of off the edge. We will trim that after, but I'm just having fun placing them wherever I want. That's what I like about things like this. There's not a right way. It's just whatever you like. That's what creativity is all about. It's just going with the flow. Like I'm deciding this as I'm making it, and that's part of the fun for me. If it's too planned out, sometimes I don't enjoy it. It depends on the project. Some of them you really do have to plan out, but this one you can just go kind of crazy and win and have a great time and I hope that you get to do that I hope you don't feel pressured or like you know this needs to be so complicated or hard crafting can be fun it just can be relaxing and fun and I don't know about you guys but I need relaxation I do not do good with that I don't chill out very well and crafting helps me with that let me know if you have that same issue So there they are, all three of them. I'm going to put them on my little cutting mat, turn them over, and I'm going to grab my little blade cutting thing from Amazon. I love this one because the handle is so easy to hold, especially if you have arthritis or carpal tunnel or anything. It's really kind of like ergonomically comfortable. So I'm going to do that with all three of those until all of the edges are flush. There they are. I love the way this looks. I think the gold with the blue is gorgeous against the white. I'm going to then take them outside and I'm gonna spray some clear acrylic on them and let that dry. I want them to be covered because we're gonna put glasses on them and if they sweat, you know, I want them to be okay. So I put about three coats and there they are. And then I've got these little felt, little baby rounds. I'm gonna put four on each one so that they don't scratch any surface. And that's it. These came out so cute. This could not be easier. What a great gift idea, don't you think? I think this would be fun. And also then you could have coasters for all the different seasons and just for when you change your decor. And it was so inexpensive. You definitely have to let me know if you want to give this one a try.
this Dollar Tree decal craft. I thought these were the cutest flowers. They're almost cartoon-like, you know, and that they're really cute. And I've got this little mini cutting board from the Dollar Tree. And you guys know how much I love cutting boards. I think I'm starting to have too many. I don't know. I may have to cut back. I can't stop myself, though. I really like them. I sanded it all the way around. It was a little rough. And then I sprayed it with my mister. Got that on Amazon, too. And then I'm going to use the Burnt Umber Apple Barrel Paint. And it looks like there's a lot, but I'm going to use all of that for the entire thing. I'm just going to get my brush, you know, saturated with it and keep drawing from the front and going around the edges. And then I'll wipe off the excess. And actually, I did the back separately. I just realized that. And I will do that afterwards once this is dry. And then I'll just do the same thing. So here it is, all done. And it's so cute. It looks like stain and it was paint, no smells, nothing. I'm going to put some Mod Podge over it before I add the little decals. These decals are so versatile. I have so many of them. If you guys like this, let me know because I could make many more videos using them. So I'm gonna put this big flower and I'm gonna let it hang over the edge. And then a couple of the little flower petals, I'm just gonna set right on there. Now these are kind of thicker decals. So they didn't want to lay down as flat, so you'll see I had to kind of like get my brush underneath, make sure there was extra Mod Podge. I even took my finger and kind of pressed down to make sure that it would stick. Whatever it takes, we'll make it work. And then once I get this all over the top and part of the sides, I've got that edge hanging over and I want it to be on there. So I'm going to fold it over and kind of make that crease a little sharper, putting the Mod Podge underneath and over. And then because it won't lay flat because it's like a curved little edge, I'm going to take scissors and I'm going to cut one little slit right where kind of like the corner of that cutting board is and that way I can lay it down and you'll see here it takes a little bit and some pressing down but eventually I get it to stay I think the stickiness just isn't enough for this cutting board so that's why I had to use so much Mod Podge on the other ones it didn't require quite so much You see how I'm just pressing that in as hard as I can and I'm just going to put a lot of Mod Podge over it and I didn't want to use the spray for this one because I needed the brush to help press it down and the spray wouldn't have been able to do that. So here we are finishing up with the Mod Podge and now it's finally laying down. And I'm just gonna wrap a little of that golden white twine around it. And I think it's so cute and it's gonna look great with my little cutting board display that I keep changing up and adding to. How many cutting boards do you guys have? I think at this point I have at least 15, maybe. I don't know, there's so many. It's kind of getting crazy. Thank you for watching. You are truly a blessing to me. Let me know which one was your favorite today. Don't forget to check out the link for the website about the Crafty Cruise Getaway. It's down in my description box below. I know you will have so much fun and I really hope you will check it out and consider going. I've got another video on the screen that I think you'll really like. So if you click on it, I will see you there. Bye.